Hi Year 7, this video is about annotating poetry because you've been asked to annotate this poem Twilight by Anna Yin and uh, annotation or annotating poetry is just talking about what's going on in the lines or in the uh, stanzas of the poem and this I'm going to talk to you specifically about literary devices these things down here that we've looked at personification, imagery, alliteration, similes, metaphors, onomatopoeia. So if they're being used somewhere or other things in, uh, in the poem. So I'm not going to uh, annotate that poem because you've got to do that one. And, and it means just writing stuff next to the line, saying what, what's happening in each line. It's just annotating, writing next to things. So I'm going to annotate this poem here. So let's have a look at it. He sleeps to escape to the home of his dreams. So this first bit, home of his dreams, that probably is something like imagery, just imagining something um, really strange like that, home of his dreams. And the next line, to the outstretched arms of his quiet mind. So we're talking about his quiet mind and we're giving that outstretched arms. So when we do things like that, we're making it a bit like a person and so we're saying that's personification or giving a personality or a humanness to something to the outstretched arms of his quiet mind soft light from a faraway moon bathes him in a gentle river so again this one here it's very much imagery up this one up here so there is is part of this dreamy idea of a faraway moon and a gentle river and the, and the soft light. So that's imagery we probably there. As he hears the call of a subconscious friend, alone, says Ava, away, says Adam, always, says Annalise. And in that case, because each, uh, we have lots of words starting with the same letter, we have this one here, alliteration. I'm sure some of you remember that from the last package that we did. He is a feather in a gentle breeze. So as soon as we say someone is something, he is a feather in a gentle breeze. Remember that is a metaphor. It's not like something, but he is. He is a feather in a gentle breeze. A note in a dancing melody again. A metaphor there a little bit of imagery there a note in a dancing melody but it's uh it's probably we would say they're a metaphor his dreams overtake his wakened state like gentle fog rising up from the hills ah so when we see like a gentle fog we know that that is a simile as soon as we see like or as we can say that that is a simile, so like a gentle fog rising up from the hills. Immersed, covered, wrapped up and content, the morning light beckons, but not for him yet. Okay, so you can add other things, but what I've looked at there is when we're annotating a poem, try to look for literary devices, these, thing, these things here. And when you're annotating, just write next to the line what you think is going on in each in each line. And and when you annotate this one by Anna Yin, remember that she spent a lot of she was um, born in China and lived her first twenty years in China. So look at that and think about how that has influenced her writing as well when you are annotating.